Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is work in progress Wednesday or oh my goodness my brain is just all over the place today. Today is collection mania Monday. I have no idea where my head is today. I overslept and I got behind on things and then I got sidetracked because I was enthralled in watching uh, Lady Heather Valentin color a picture of uh, one of her characters digitally and oh my goodness I can barely do that with pencils never mind digitally <laughs> and of course you know because I am running behind and my computer decided half you know three quarters of the way through Heather's video just to completely shut down for no particular reason and wouldn't come back up. I finally got it back up and then my mouse stops working and then I couldn't get my pencils to, to do what I wanted them to do and on the desk so that I could actually show you what they were. Ay ay ay. It's been a day. And of course I am running late so this video will be a lot little bit later than my normal video on Monday comes out. So hopefully you guys watch it. <laughs> All right. So last week we worked with the Thornton colored pencils. And this week we're working with the Thornton's uh watercolored pencils. And as you can see, they, it's a smaller set. It's only a 48 set instead of the 72 set. I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here so you can see the colors. Uh, we, of course, have our white, which is... I'm, I'm not quite sure why they put a white in there, but it works every once in a while. <laughs> and then we have our yellows. And then we have our peachy tones, our, our or light orange into our oranges, into our dark oranges and reds. And then we go into our pinks and purples. Now there's not a lot of purple, but they do have a fairly good selection of pink. And they have a huge, huge selection of blues. So we have our lighter blues into our darker blues and into our, our green blues here. And then we go into our greens. And we have a fairly good selection of greens. Not as many light greens as I would like, but a fairly good selection of greens. And then we go into our browns. And of course, we've got a couple of different terracotta colors here, as well as a light brown, a medium brown, and some dark browns. And then we go into our black and our grays. And this has a really good selection of grays for a 48 set. So that's what we will be working with today. And of course, we will be working with um, this pen to activate it. This is the Koi Coloring Brush Pen. It's a water-based um, blender pen. And it's done by the Secura Color Products company and as you can see it is a brush pan and it's just a watercolor um, blender pen. Of course you got to be careful with the colors and just remember it's going to dye the end of your pen so make sure that you wipe it off and um, that sort of thing so that you know that your colors aren't being uh, transferred over. Now let's take a look at the pencils. I'm going to grab a darker pencil here so that you can see a little bit better because on the lighter pencil it doesn't show up as much. Now as you can see it's a hexagonal pencil. Unfortunately it does not have any color names or color numbers or anything on it. So it is a water soluble pencil. It has the water soluble um, label on it as well as the Thornton's uh, brand label and that's it. Uh, when you buy the set, if you buy the 150 um, set that I have, you'll be able to tell the, the watercolor pencils A from the fact that they are hexagonal where the regular pencils are round. 
the um, drawing pencils and the metallic pencils are triangular. So here's the differences. I'm going to grab the black as well so that you can see. So here are the differences and of course they've got some drawing pencils as well. So we've got our regular pencil which is completely round. It says Thornton's black and then a number. And then we have our metallic pencil here and it's triangular and it only has the Thornton's um, logo on it. It doesn't have anything else, just the Thornton's logo. And then we have the water soluble which says water soluble and then the Thornton's and then a black uh, gold tip. So when you use the or when you grab the pencils you can tell it's a water soluble pencil by this gold tip. And that's the differences in the pencils that you will receive if you purchase the um, 150 set. And of course it also has some um, drawing pencils and some chalk pencils. So these are um, not chalk but uh, charcoal. So these are the charcoal pencils and there's a soft, medium and hard and they have a red end. The drawing pencils have a silver band and then a black end. This says charcoal and this actually says the number for the pencil like HB. It goes from all the way up from 5H to 8B. So great sec uh, selection of drawing pencils as well as a really good um, ability to have those those chalk pencil the charcoal pencils as well. All right so that is the information for the pencils. We're going to move them on over here so that I can get to them a little bit easier and we're going to go to our main camera and of course what we're going to be coloring in today of is the 100 hugs by Chris Riddell. We are on hug number 53 of 100 so that's kind of cool and today we will be coloring elephants. Elephants. Now I have done a little t test area in the back here with those pencils and the koi brush and they didn't go through. You have a slight shadowing but nothing major and it didn't completely ruin the page so that's thrilling to me. So that is what we're going to be using these these watercolor pencils on is this elephant hug. So I'm going to switch it back over to the close-up and uh, maybe I'll zoom you out a little bit. Just a little bit. Of course my dog is getting up onto the couch and she's going to sit there and go cough, 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 hack, hack, hack because I'm now talking so she thinks she deserves a treat. <laughs> Keep on telling her just because I'm talking doesn't mean you get a treat. She doesn't believe me. Alright, so there is our elephant page and we're going to be working a lot in the grays and the browns. So I'm going to actually just pull those out so that I can grab hold of them easier. And the black and this dark brown here. Alright, just so I can grab hold of them a little bit easier and that sort of thing. So because I've got to sharpen them and all that fun stuff. So we're going to start with number 40. What I have listed as number 43 is which is a really dark brown. And I am sharpening them in the doll 
type sharpener, the crank sharpener. So uh, they do sharpen quite well in there. So I'm just putting in a layer of the brown in the darkest areas of this elephant. So I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I had a great weekend. I went and visited uh, Alex, who lives um, just one town over from me. Um, went and hung out with her on Saturday night for a little while, which was great. And she gave me presents, and I'll show you all those on uh, Thankful Thursday, well, all things Thursday. And I took her presents too, so. But we, we won't talk about it. <laughs> I shared. I, I have a lot of, a lot of pencils that I have a few duplicates of, and I wanted to share them with somebody, so. I took them, took some to her, and she will enjoy them. All right, so uh, hopefully you guys can see through my hand here. So I'm just coloring with them the exact same way I would color with any other pencil. I'm just laying down the color. I'm not trying to be overly heavy handed with them at this point because I'm going to be going over it with the gray and then we're going to be blending this brown into the gray. For this elephant. And the other elephant we're going to be adding, doing that element with a lot of grays and dark grays. Oh. I don't know why the crop duster is flying over. It's not crop season. Getting in his last flights before the winter, I guess. Go around his toenails. You know, growing up, I did not realize, and I, I well, I didn't know um, until I was older, that elephants come in more colors than just gray. <laughs> I did not know this until I was older. Every picture I'd ever seen of an elephant, they were gray. And then I went to the zoo um, in, I guess it's uh, in between here in California, and they had a brown elephant. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's like, wait, that's not gray. And I'd seen on, you know, Discovery Channel and that sort of thing, different colored elephants. And I thought, thought you know, they were just muddy or, you know, that sort of thing. Nope, they're actually that color. <laughs> it's like, oh. They're, they have gray in them, a lot of gray, quite a bit of uh, French gray kind of color. And that's why we're doing all the shadowy areas in the French gray colors. We're adding the brown and then we'll go over it with the gray and then we'll activate it all together and blend it all together. So.
this is definitely a great way to showcase different hugs and different colors and different pencils. Now we are coming to the end of our colored pencil collection. I know, crazy, right? It's only taken a year to go through the colored pencil collection. <laughs> And of course, our ch the channel's anniversary is coming up, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, to hit um, 2,000 by then, which is possible. But uh, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I've got all th all sorts of things in the in the ready for the anniversary as well as hitting that 2000 mark. Alright. Okay, so we've got the browns on there. Now we're going to add some number 45, which is a darker gray. Just going to sharpen it up. I haven't used um, a lot of watercolor type of products before, so this is this is going to be as experimental as I get with them. <laughs> I did test the paper though, so and that's why I'm not activating it in between layers um, because I know that with my test that doing that would probably uh, ruin the paper so I will activate it all together so that I can blend them all together and hopefully it works out <laughs> why am I not seeing a lot of okay there is color there I was like why is there not looking like a lot of color coming off of that And of course, we've got the Harry Potter a thon this weekend, which is going to be so much fun. I am going to be much later than my normal stream time on Saturday. So, on Saturday, my normal stream time is on Saturday is 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time. Unfortunately, with the Harry Potter a thon schedule, my stream time has been changed for that Saturday only for uh, to 8 o'clock p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. So hopefully you guys can make it. I know that a lot of you are, are a diff way different time zone than me and that could be quite a bit past the bedtime. So I do not, uh, I do not, do not uh, expect you to stay up <laughs> past your bedtime to hang out with me. I, I appreciate it if you do, but I definitely don't expect it. I was going to have a giveaway of, um, some 3D printed Harry Potter things. However, my husband's printer that he prints the lithophanes on decided that it didn't like lithophanes anymore. So I was only able to get one that didn't cause problems or have problems. And that's the joys of, of um, 3D printed things really is, you know, sometimes it reacts and does what you want it to do and sometimes it doesn't. Just the same with colored pencils and markers and all that fun stuff. You know, you, you have a, an idea in your head and how it should look and how it should work out and 
unfortunately, sometimes the picture in our head is way different than what the pencils are going to give us. And it's the same thing with 3D printed stuff. You sit there going, okay, I check this and I check this, everything should be good. And suddenly, it just decides, nope, you're not good. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Has a little temper tantrum, I swear. And like I said yesterday during the, the coloring, um, if you want to uh, purchase anything out of the 3D printed store, it is best to do that um, soon, especially if you're going to give that for a Christmas present or a Christmas gift to yourself. Uh, unfortunately, um, it does take time for these things to print as well as the time for shipping. So if you want it before Christmas, you might want to get on to uh, deciding whether or not you want to purchase one. Just because I can't guarantee after a certain period of time that they'll make it there in time for Christmas. If we get in early enough before the Christmas rush, because it does come uh, U.S. Postal Service and we all know how reliable they are. <laughs> um, it does come USPS so uh, in order to make sure that you do get that before Christmas time I would suggest ordering it you know by the end of the month um, just to get just to make sure that uh, you can get to that before or we can get to it and sent out to you before that Christmas rush comes in to the postal service because as soon as that comes in I can I just I can't um, I can't guarantee that it will be there before Christmas and it does take time for these things to print so we do need that time as well all right so now I'm coming in with the lighter gray and I'm not going to sharpen this one. I want this one to be quite dull because I'm going over the entire picture, well, the entire elephant with it, with quite a heavy hand because we're just going to coat the entire animal. And the reason why I'm using a heavier hand um, is because it is watercolor and once I activate it of course it's going to become a, a deeper color however it may also wash off if I don't put it enough of the color down and all of these colors will blend together with the blender pencil hopefully creating the masterpiece I think it will be <laughs> Now I would not suggest using um, a large amount of water in this book. So if you're going to use ink tints or anything like that, I would definitely suggest that you use a blender pen uh, to activate it, not um, like a paintbrush full of water because I don't think the paper would take that very well.
Alright. Does anybody else ever, while you're coloring and block coloring in large areas, get so bored with it that you feel like you need a nap? <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's bored with it. It's um, it's very relaxing, and I always feel, especially when I'm doing large, large areas, that uh, I need a nap afterwards. All right, just gonna do the toenails here, and then we're gonna take our black. bottom of the feet. Alright, and then we gotta do his face. And then we're going to take a very light cream white yellow. So let's start with the white. Or we'll start with the creamy yellow and then we'll go into the white. For the tusk here. So we just put down a little bit of that creamy yellow. And then we'll put the white over top of it. Alright, so now we're going to activate it. And I've got a piece of paper here for me to wipe my pen on. So we're going to start up here. Activating that all together. Now, I, I, the reason why I bought these is because I find that like I do have a Tombow one and I find that the Tombow one gets way too wet so doing it with the alcohol markers I, I really actually enjoy because they're not as wet as the Tombow markers and I wanted to try these on a watercolor and B on my ink tents um, pencils. Just because, you know, somebody told me that they were better for to use a watercolor pencil for the ink tents than a alcohol. And I wanted to give that a try. Now, I, I like the way that the alcohol works on it. So I'm hoping that these will work just as well. My only problem with the alcohol markers is that uh, they're expensive to replace the blenders. So as you can see, as I activate these colors, they're blending out a lot nicer and becoming a part of the overall color of the elephant, which is exactly what we wanted.
And it seems I have a fly friend. <laughs> Not that I want a fly friend. I will have to catch him later and put him outside. All right, so there's our first elephant all done up. So we're going to put the lid back on the pen. And our elephant behind there, we're going to work with our darkest grays, first of all, and our black. So we're going to start with the black and the dark gray. And we're not going to put any browns in this other elephant. We're just going to work with blues or with grays and blacks. Okay, so let's start with here. And I'm doing the shadow areas with the black. And basically just putting in some of that black. Now if you do decide to do this and you find that you need to add more color somewhere, make sure that you wait until your activated area, if you want to add more color to that area, make sure that that is dry before you start adding more color because it will um, put too much liquid on the page and possibly tear your page. Alright, so once again just going through and adding that black into those shadowy areas. Now typically when you're using a watercolor pencil, depending upon how well they're pigmented, typically you would uh, not need to color the entire area. You could d drag that color together, but because I want those colors to blend together in a certain way, I'm coloring the whole area. Okay. I think I'm almost done. And hopefully I haven't completely blocked the entire shot while I'm doing this. I have a tendency to do that, so I've been trying really hard not to lately. All right, now we're going to take that darker gray. We're going to extend out from the black. I could have probably done them pink elephants. 
I like pink elephants. I used to have a pink elephant. I didn't put any black on that arm. Oh, sorry guys. I just went and zone out here. You know, it's all good. <laughs> so, all for all those people that uh, you know that happens to, you are not the only one. <laughs> I just completely zoned out there for a moment. I'm putting down that color. I'm going through with the medium dark gray and just extending that black out a little bit. And then we're going to take a lighter gray. I think this one here. I think we'll we'll just use the other one that we just used the light gray of. Not very often do you get to work solely in grays and blacks. So I was kind of looking forward to doing this one. Because I really actually enjoy working in those tones. Okay, I'm going to give it a sharpen so that I can cover everything up. ear here. So not only do we have the Harry Potter-a-thon this month, uh, we have another color-a-thon done by Shell Artie. We have uh, different Halloween spooktacular type of, of events. I myself am doing a hashtag uh, Celebrate Sem 1 uh, 2021, which is celebrate everything fall and Halloween. The word Sem 1, um, Suwin, or yeah, Suwin, uh, comes from a Celtic uh, language and several other languages as well use the same type of word for the same thing. Celebration of all things fall going into winter, harvest, um, that sort of thing. I am not sure where the Halloween um, I don't know where all that started. You know, I, I know where where the celebration of all things um, all things fall came from, uh, Suwin. But uh, I don't know where the celebration of, you know,
where little kids go around trick-or-treating. I know where pumpkins came from. And I know where the costumes came from. But I don't know where the tradition of trick-or-treating came from. Okay, so now we're going to activate this. I'm going to start activating it down here on his nose. Activate his trunk. Trying to make sure I don't put too much of the blending polish on there. because it will peel the paper if I put too much. And we don't want that. So I'll finish up this arm here. And his body. And I'll go back to his face there because I've got a little bit of a buildup of moisture in that area. So I'll go back up there and after it's dried a little bit. Pull that dark colors into the light colors there. Get that shadow going. Alrighty. Do so, this. Okay, now we're going to do the ground, so we need a little bit of a lighter brown. Yeah, I think this one here. Just trying to make sure that I keep you in camera frame without uh, completely disappearing on you. Alright, and then we're going to take our dark brown. We're going to go into those darker areas where the shadows are. Okay, now we're going to take our activator pen, make sure that we're in screen, and we're just going to activate that and spread it around. Goodness, now there's helicopters out there. I wonder what's going on. Helicopters only usually come around when they're looking for somebody. I'm going to switch you on over to the main screen here so you can see what we've done. Because there's our elephants. So let's go over to the main. 
And I'll zoom you down a little bit so that you can see our elephant work. So there is our elephants for our hashtag 100 Days of Hugs 2021. And this is hug number 50, I think it's, yeah, 53. And it is October 11th, I do believe. Yes. October 11th, 2021. And this is hug number 54. I do believe. Nope, 53. I just said that, didn't I? 53. And it's our elephant hug. So that was done with the watercolor. Now we're going to take a look at the back side here. As you can see, it did not go through. There is a little bit of a shadowing, but not a big deal. And it didn't ruin the page. Like it didn't warp it or, or anything like that. There's no pilling on the page, anything like that. Very, very cool. So a fairly nice set of watercolor pencils that come in the 150 set of the Thompson or Thornton, sorry, Thornton colored pencil set. And of course, our hug is done for the day. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed the hug. I hope you have enjoyed the demonstration on using this wonderful pen. Uh, this is called the Koi Coloring Brush Pen, and it is a water-based dye stuff, water-based dye stuff ink for students, graphic artists, designers, illustrators, architects, uh, cartoonists, and it is a blender pen. So it says blender right there, and it works quite well on the watercolor, which is great. And as you can see, the tip does get a little stained, but as long as you wipe it off and make sure that that stain isn't something that's going to transfer to your picture, fantastic. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I hope to see you on, uh, well, of course, tomorrow for Tips and Tricks Tuesday, but on Wednesday for Work in Progress Wednesday, where we will be finishing off our um, Heather Valentin uh, picture. I'm going to zoom you out so you can see. Uh, there we go. There we go. So we will be finishing off like I, I have gone through this side and started it a little bit. So we'll be finishing off the bricks. We'll be finishing off the um, bottles and then we will be adding the glow. So I hope you are ready for that. And she's turning out so cute. All right, guys, of course, remember to like, comment, subscribe, uh, that fun stuff. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I do put out a video every single day. Um, if you want to support the channel, of course, that is the best way to do it. Uh, if you do find that you want to financially support the channel, of course, I do have a membership uh, tier available. You just have to hit that join button at the bottom of the screen uh, or underneath this video at the top of the about section. Um, there's all sorts of different perks that are available and of course you know I do have some members only streams and members only giveaways and stuff like that so hopefully if you decide to join me uh, you can definitely uh, do so through there and hopefully you enjoy being a member of my magical mystical brigade other than that remember to relax color and stay safe. Until next time, guys, thank you all very much for joining me. Bye-bye for now.